Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark Gannon. Bid you all welcome once again back to Elex. You know what? We got... I think we got a lot of raw meat I can cook up here. And some bone marrow soup. We'll just do armor. Wow, that's some hella health. Damn, son. That doesn't last too long, but that is some serious business. Uh, let's just fry up some meat for now. I don't have any of the stuff for this. I don't know, let's make a couple, see how well they work. May actually help us in, uh, what comes next. What we're gonna do, we've got a place I want to check out. I was actually reminded of this by my friend Dan's Queen, who, uh, mentioned that I had heard about this place long- ooh. I had mentioned that I had heard about this place a long time ago, and I think I had written it off back then because I thought it was just a general reference to Abessa um, being a sort of neutral location. But someone, I guess at some point, had mentioned a location where people are living without any ties to uh, the major factions or kind of like an independent uh, neutral party. And, um, I did spot it when I was, uh, exploring before episode 30. And so now I actually want to make it a destination because there's a lot that apparently goes on there. So we're gonna go head that way and check it out. Um, but the, on the way there, we're going to run into quite a few Reavers, so... Need to be prepared for that. I'm wondering... Got some frag rockets for that. Probably the best thing we got to deal with this. The Reavers are pretty tough. Do I want to set this... Where is the strong bone marrow soup? Let's put it in the weak potions for now. So we'll, we'll give that a shot in some of these fights up ahead, because they can get pretty nasty. Um, there's a group of Reavers who's kind of like walking around, and then there's like a leader in a little camp. But, uh, again, they have some powerful weapons, or at least they have some of the heavy weapons that... It would be nice to get another one. So we're gonna do that, but first let's deal with this piece of shit. So yeah, this, uh, this sword ain't no joke. Okay, something's exploding up there. I guess those Reavers have run into something. The Raptor wants a piece. Yeah, four, four strikes from this takes down a Raptor now. I remember when they were well beyond our means, so... Alright. Well, maybe we can get the jump on those Reavers while they're fighting. Yeah, this doesn't do too much, does it? Shit! Come on, big boy. And now this guy's a piece of shit. Now he's a dead piece of shit. How do you like that? We're taking on one of them stone claws. At least that's dead. We won't have to worry about that making things awkward for us. But yeah, these guys can be some real pieces of shit because they're... Let's, let's give this a shot, see how well it works. Okay, so that's not actually... Let's take advantage of this, because this guy needs to die. Preferably before he gets uh, some serious weapons out. Damn, he is not quitting. Take that. Okay, well, unfortunately, the uh, healing effect is worn off. Eh. 
Ah, you missed. Big dork. <laughs> Hit him. Oh, I thought that would do it. Guess not. Alright, nice stab in the back there, Kaja. And this guy has the grenade launcher. So now that we're out of ammo for the rocket launcher, we'll have to equip that, but we don't really have too much for it. So, it's basically... As far as I can tell, almost the same as the rocket launcher. It's got the same ammo types. It's just... It's grenades instead of rockets. So yeah, um, the explosive weapons seem like they could be okay for like crowd control and cheesing stuff, but just their damage, their sheer lack of significant damage in what seems to be almost a lack of uh, any scaling with abilities makes them almost superfluous. I mean, it says it does 46 damage, that says it does 50. The sword says it does 47, and it outscales all of that tremendously. So, none of that really seems to be a big help. Man, what is this sneaking around over here? I oh, just want to use. Whoopah! Alright. So, I think that bone marrow soup is a good thing to apply. Like, right at the start of a fight, not to really prepare for it. I know we got some nasty things. We got a Skex over there having a bit of an episode. Got some horn dogs. You know, speaking of horn dogs, I should check into that Exoplanet game. I haven't really looked at that in a while. I don't think it's had any major updates since the last time I streamed it, so... I don't know. It's worth worth a look. I also am waiting to see if that game Exanima is going to get an update anytime soon, because I really enjoyed that as well. But they've been lacking in not just actual gameplay, like actual game updates, With everything that's going but on, you forget how in communication. They're not really saying too much about where they're going with it, and I hope, really hope they haven't dropped it. The game had a lot of potential. It was already pretty solid for what it was, but, you know, I really wanted to see how they finished it. I'll be very disappointed if they don't. Yeah, I don't know if we can kill one of these. Okay, well, they're tougher than raptors. Maybe about as tough as a Skex. Alright, how... Alright, the terrain really fucks with the hit detection. I don't know why it's so bad. How about you kill it, Kaja? It's like right in front of your face. Just near death. And you did nothing. Yeah, well, they're not too bad. So even the um, the skull level enemies are not much of a threat anymore. Look out! Whoop! <laughs> you sorry fool! <laughs> oh god! Ow. Damn it, you slippery little bitch. That's how we do it. Alright, so we can see the structures of this apparent uh, free people village. That's one of them pack leaders, ain't it? Yeah, you nothing. Let's do this. God damn it all. Well, that just fucked all my stamina. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck sake. Thank goodness for that. I'm gonna 
good old swig. And here we are. So this was a hell of a thing to miss, and I'm glad I was reminded of it. So this is a substantial place. Looks very... Berserker-like. Can't tell... It almost seems like another group of people, kind of like Abessa, where... There are people who came from other factions and are just kind of settling in. Uh, just kind of abandoned their loyalties to those factions, but kept some of the gear. Because it looks like there's some Berserker armor and some Cleric armor kind of floating around. Not now. Those are called Settlers. Which would make this a settlement. Yeah, see, this guy's got some outlaw stuff. Nobody really seems to question my presence. I guess this was the way we were supposed to come in, but hey. You know what important? This guy looks like a gatekeeper. Let's have a word with him. Jonesy! Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? This is a restricted area, and you have no business here. Excuse me? It doesn't look like a restricted area. Turn down the lights what? on that thing. You want me to build you a fence? Dig you a moat? Put out some nice shiny signs? It's restricted because I say it's restricted. Why is this area restricted? Did I say restricted? <laughs> Man, I've been out here too long. I, I meant it's as dangerous as trying to hold a barbecue in the Ice Palace. There are mutants all over the place just waiting for you. I'd head up into our camp, or better still, just get out of here if you don't want to end up as mutant food. Your camp could use better defenses. We've done what we can. You want to help us? You go for it. Who's in charge here? Lloyd. He's the most experienced warrior among us. He calls our little camp up here Origin. I never really understood what that means. If you it means want to the beginning. To about it, he's up there in the camp. I think I shall. There are mutants everywhere on Magdalene. Yeah, but the ones here are right mean bastards. And no matter how many of them you kill, they keep coming back. There are at least ten round here right now. They're out there, waiting in ambush somewhere. Why don't you just kill them? I've killed seven or eight, but there are still ten out there. There's always ten out there. They keep coming back. And it's always a choice. Stay here and defend Origin, or go out there and leave this place undefended. Leaving the camp doesn't sound right to me. I could come with you and help with the mutants. Yeah? That would be great. But I can't leave Origin undefended. But, uh, hey, here's an idea. If you lure them to me here one by one, we can take them out together, okay? That way I can stay on guard. You just want to minimize the risk to you. That's what I thought. Talk big, but then back out of it. Hey, all chat and no action. I told you, I can't leave here. My job is to protect the camp. If those mutants attack, I'm the only thing between them and the others. So if I go out there, those mutants could creep in while I'm gone. No, no. Either we do it how I suggested, or we forget it. So are you up for that? Luring the mutants here one by one? Alright, fine. We'll give it a shot. You big pussy. Ah. Well, you guys aren't so tough anymore, are you? Ow. 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 Alright, well, do your duty. Hit that bitch! We ain't done with him. Heads up! You sneaky bitch. Can you get out of here? Ha 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 Yeah, see, that's what you get. Hey, halfway there. What horrid beasts. Not as tough as they usually are. These ones might be deliberately de-leveled for the sake of this quest. Because rat boars are usually some tough beasties. Heave! That didn't quite work, did it? Okay. Come on then, you vile fiends. Look 
I don't have to look for anything. You bitch. Right. Well, fuck luring them. I'm just gonna go take care of them all. There aren't too many left. You have to jump on this one. You ah! away with that. Sorry about that, Kaja, but that was funny. <laughs> I just took out of the way. She's like, ah! Alright then, come here. Whoop! God oh, damn it. Curse you, geo geograph uh, um, geography. Done. All right. The mutants are dead. What? All of them? They're all gone? All the ones I could find. Shit. That's a load off. I didn't realize how tense I was, but I can breathe again now. Here. Take this for your help. I'm heading back into Origin. You can come with me if you want. We could use people like you. I want you supposed to uh guard the gate. You know, that's not the end of all the mutants in Magalain, brother. You're really taking my word for it, too, but god damn. Put that at fucking weapon at the top of Jack's lighthouse. Nobody will ever get shipwrecked again. Yeah, I'm really curious about this place. All these guys seem to be... from, uh... all the other different factions, so it's kind of weird that they're all... still in their usual vestments. Hi, I'm Annie. Hello. Are you here to make a donation? Every shard you can give will go into building up our little community here. Donation? Yeah, I'll make a donation. That is great. I'm glad to hear that. You'll have our gratitude. You can be sure that everything you give will go to helping people. And if you like, you can even donate to a specific cause. We are hoping to make the place look better and to get the equipment we need. You know, workbenches and things like that. Let me know what you think would be helpful. I will take care of it. So, what'll it be? Interesting. So I can kind of help develop this place. I would like to donate shards to the camp. No problem. What would you like to build? Oh, wow. This is expensive. Oh, damn. Let's start with this. Well, this is something. It's almost like a base building element. This is a surprise. I'm gonna build a nice trading post. That's a start. I don't really have the funds to do much more right now. I guess this almost becomes like a uh, base of operations. Or it could be. I guess the first thing we gotta find is a teleporter. I hope it becomes something like a base. You know, move everybody out of that shitty camp we got in Nidan. <clears throat> All right. Well, what goods have you got? Dangerous times. Travel safely. What good? Yes. Ah, damn. We got plenty of grenades. Ring of stamina. Amulet of the provider. Missions give more experience. Hmm. Now you could I could see how you could uh, I can't even afford it anyway, but. You can see how you could buy that and uh, just wear it like every time you complete a quest. But I can't even remember to swap out an amulet after I pick a lock, so... I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that to great effect. We got some serious healing potions. We do need more of the basics. Them shits are pricey. What can we surrender for this? Click and drag, thank goodness. Uh, I don't really want to give up any ammo. Do need to invest in crafting stuff at some point. I don't really want to 
to sell any of the memos. Take that. Some of this junk. Keep the photographs. Oh! I forgot to read that. We picked that up outside of the Dome City. I'm gonna make sure I take a look at that. Okay, I'm gonna think. I think I'm gonna want to keep those. So, all right. Well, that's done. We got more grenades, but our finances are dwindling. Ominous note. Fred was here. Huh? <laughs> Who the hell's Fred? Have we met a Fred? Okay, looks like we got more tamed jackals, or friendly jackal. You should talk to someone else. I can't help you. All right. Well, who else is important? Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? None of your business. Who are you? Another one of them, are you? You think you can wander in here and start asking questions and demanding things, do you? Well, better keep your weapon sheathed and your hands to yourself. That way, we won't have any trouble with each other. Okay? All right. What is this place? It's a refuge. The last refuge from the Alb converters for many. For others, it is a stronghold of freedom. For me, it is my mission in life. Everyone looking for protection will find it here with us. That is my promise. A noble cause. You, however, don't look like you need protection. So, that makes me wonder. If you're not here seeking refuge, what are you looking for? Who are you? Are you in charge here? Me? That's Lloyd. He's the only one crazy enough to try and keep this place together. But don't go bothering him with small stuff. He has better things to do than waste his time on strays. What do you do here? I take care of Origin's defenses. If you believe in a dream, you have to protect it. And how is that job going? Why the interest in our defenses? Who sent you? I'm just making conversation. Conversation? And it just happens to be about our defenses. Don't think you can get around me that easily, asshole. I really am just making conversation. Sure. Right. Let's speak straight and keep things clear. I see you step out of order here, I will have you put down. I believe in these people, and I don't know who you are. I understand. I guess time will tell, won't it? How did you end up here? Me? I used to be a guard in the Dome City. Then I got sent to the front during one of the Alb attacks that were happening back then. We were told we were going there to help the farmers. We got no mercy from the Alps and we gave none back. And the people trapped between us? I don't know how they survived. And after it was done and all those bodies were piled up, we turned around and went straight back to the city and just left those people out here to fend for themselves. That didn't seem right to me. So when I heard rumors about Origin and the help it offered people, well, I came here to find something that was actually worth fighting for. Huh. Sounds like you got your uh, priorities in order. What can I do to help people here? You really want to do that? Well, we can always do with more weapons. But above all, we need more people. Experienced people to help defend this place. So you want me to find people with combat skills for you? Exactly. People you can rely on. Loyal people you can trust. Farmers and refugees here, they do their best. We need some real fighters. People who've been out in the wilderness and survived. If you meet anyone out there you'd trust to watch your back, who'd fight alongside you, well, I guess you can tell them where we are and that they'd be welcome here in Origin. All right, well, I know a handful of people. If I find anyone I can trust, I'll send them here. You will? Okay, then. All right. It'll be good to have some more companions out here to understand what they're doing. At least three would help. That would make good our losses. Oh, boy. I met Duras, a berserker warrior. He's agreed to travel with me, and will stay here in between. Good. Great. The berserkers know how to defend themselves. That's good for a start. Who else can you offer? Falk, uh... Cleric has agreed to help me. He will stay to defend Origin when he's not with me. A cleric? 
Well, we'll see if he's prepared to do the fighting himself, not just leave it to others. Have you found anyone else? I think I can give him everyone, but I'm not sure I really want Arcs here. He might actually start some trouble. Kaya, a powerful berserker mage, will be happy to help defend the camp. A mage? Well, we could use more of those around here. Okay. I would say that's enough fighters to make our camp safe. I mean, any more would be welcome, but you've taken the pressure off us for now. I just hope they can work together. We can do without arguments here. But I suppose we'll find out when the next mutant attack comes. Ray, an outlaw, has agreed to help. He'll be useful, just don't leave anything shiny around when he's nearby. As if we didn't have enough crooks in camp already. So just know you're responsible for him and anything he takes. Arx is an experienced warrior. He will help to protect Origin. He'll be reluctant, but he'll do it. Him? He looks like an owl. Are you sure you want to vouch for him? Still, I suppose we can't be too picky, can we? He did well. Alright, well, that was a good start. Herbert, broadcasting from the orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. Why do we have cleric propaganda in this neutral place? I don't need none of that shit. Alright, so as I thought, this becomes kind of a our new central hub for the companions. I don't really know where they end up, though. And it's kind of funny that I basically advocated their agreement before even speaking to them about it. But I'm sure it'll be fine. You're the man we want to speak to. This one seed of hope can grow a whole world. Oh, you sound like a hippie. Origin, stranger. I am Lloyd, spiritual father and leader of the people here. And who are the people here? Threatened by the storm from the north. We keep watch with pride and confidence. Let your weapons rest and draw new strength from our fire and our company. We are here to provide an alternative. We are here to hold back the Alps, but without all the lies that come with the great factions. You think you can hold back the Alps on your own? Sounds rather naive for this small group of free people. Great vision is always ridiculed. War is like every game. The points are only really counted at the end. The war is just a game to you? No. But life is always easier when you know the rules of your opponent. Tell me about your vision. I have seen this world. In all its broken glory. I have seen that the different factions that have risen since the great catastrophe all have one thing in common. They are all prisoners to their laws. They are all prisoners of their past. But amongst all of those factions are people who have seen this for themselves. And... This camp is their point of contact. You are fighting for the free people? We fight for freedom and self-determination. We defy the oppressors and all those who blindly follow them. One day, one day there will come a person, someone in our midst who can change the world from its very foundations up. And I believe I believe that that person has come to us here and now today. Sound very evangelical, but you haven't really tried to uh, put it, any kind of dogma in my ears yet. You think I'm the person who can change the world? Let's drop this foolish masquerade. We both know who we are talking about, Commander. Whoa. And who do you think I am? You are Jax. Alb Commander, he who left Zakor, who was said to be dead but is risen. You lost the power of the past, but you didn't crumble. Oh no, for here in front of me I see here an upright, strong person and his internal conflict between human and machine. Who, if not you, could really make a difference? You who straddles the worlds of Zakor and the Free People. Of life and death. I didn't rise from the dead. I narrowly escaped execution. Modesty and ability together in one person. You will be more than a figurehead. You will be a leader. Damn. You know, he, he sounds like kind of a naive hippie sort of dude. 
But he saw straight through us, man. This guy's got some talent. You offer people shelter here? People? Yes. That is the point. We are all people. Whatever labels we have put upon us, the domed city is a shelter for those who want a new start, but who cling to their old past. Here, all people give up on their belief of the past to build a new future for themselves. So, to win their trust, show them that you believe that too. That you look forward, not back. What do I have to do to be allowed to stay here? Fit in. If the people like you, then you will have a place to stay here. Who do I have to prove myself to? Well, start with those with the most influence. That will persuade the others. There's our scout, our guard, Jonesy. He helps protect us from the local mutants. Then, there's Eckhart. He is responsible for the overall defense of this place. And of course, Harley, our mechanic. You can probably make him happy if you bring him something interesting to repair. They are good men. And they are waiting for a leader. I already met two of the three. Your camp master, Eckerd, is a very determined man. Yes, that he is. But I'm glad that he is here. Without his skills, we would have been overrun by mutants long ago. Winning him over to your side shows you are the person I thought you were. That is excellent progress. Your scout Jonesy is very committed. We all owe him our lives. His dedication has kept Origin safe. It's good that you helped him. He knows now that he has your support. You're making good progress. I helped Eckert secure the camp. Very good. I've already met your companions. You made some interesting choices. Uh, but somehow they fit in with the rest of the group here. You've done well. I look forward to hearing more of your exploits. We've got rid of the mutants in the surrounding area. Well, you've bought us some time. Nature abhors a vacuum. And other mutants will come. But Origin is safer for the death of those creatures. There are still some things to do, and I'm sure that you'll complete those tasks as well. How do you defend this place? A number of experienced, expert fighters have come to our cause. Enough to keep back the mutants and the Alb patrols. Alright then. Well, barely stepped... To, you know, taking two steps in this place, and we've already really made a, an impact here. A lot of people don't really have any anything to say. Now, it's interesting that nothing around here seems like it's forbidden. Uh, it seems like we can just help ourselves to anything here. Uh, I get the feeling that, once again, they kind of screwed up and haven't really made this a... Um, like an actual town with its own sort of crime system. So, I get the feeling that's why nothing that's not nailed down is off-limits. I'll just take that, if you don't mind. Teach me something. Yeah, okay. So, he's a melee instructor. Or a combat instructor, in general. I do want to unlock that. I feel like that's going to be a big help. But we need... Six more points in decks. Hmm. Very close. One more should do it. How close are we to leveling up? Kind of close. Complete one more quest. We might just be there. Alright, well, I don't know where my companions hang out. They must be further up. Ah. Just what I was looking for. I'm gonna go check real quick, make sure they're not still... No, they are still hanging out down here. They said they came over, but... Nobody's moved yet. Let me just try something. Yeah. This is still where they're hanging out, so I don't know the deal.
All right, well, so much for that. Maybe they'll pop up there eventually. I don't need that there anymore. I am curious where they're going to end up hanging out, but let's just keep taking a look around. Uh, I guess they settled into some old world construction. Oh, wow. Holy shit. It's a fucking door. Needs a key. That is the first door I think I've seen in this entire game. Oh, wow. Can I have those? Nope. Hmm. Take that. Easy now. You scared the hell out of me. So I gotta get a key to get in there. I don't know if that's a uh, prison cell or a treasury or what. Alright, well let's climb this tower and see what awaits. Oh. God, this isn't Gothic 3 with the instant grab animation. Or lack of animation when you're sneaking. Got an anvil. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy moly! See if that's worth a damn. Made a hell of a noise when he picked it up. I'm surprised someone just left it here. The Phantom String. And we can't use it. That takes a fuck ton of strength. 72 frickin' damage, my goodness! And why do people keep so many, like, worthless first aid kits around? Aren't gonna do you any good anymore. Huh. What on earth could you possibly be using this machine for? It looks like a, uh... Kinda looks like a chiller. Or something. I don't know. Kaja seems to have gotten lost. Where on earth did she go? Um... Uh, that's... No, you can't do that. Please stop. No, please, no. Come on. That's not allowed. Kaja, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you behave the way you do? Oh, thank Christ. Uh, And she still got... Oh, my goodness. She cannot go through this door. I think that's a problem. Yeah, she can't go through that door. Alright, uh, we need to find... Uh, Harley? I don't think Harley would be a dude's name, but... We live in different times, I guess. Whatever you want fixing, stick it over there. There's a waiting list, and I got a lot of shit to mend. You're a mechanic? Yeah, Harley. Deputy foreman of the fourth work crew from the Horde of Ignadon. Or I was. Now I'm senior foreman of the only fucking guy here. The Horde's days are over, buddy. We are all real free people out here. So if you want to have something repaired, you will have to pay for it. Hmm. So, you're a cleric? Was. I was trained in the Horde. But I never got into all the religious stuff. So it's been good to find a way to keep doing what I do without the need for all that praising and believing. Amen, brother. Although I did get to play around with some more interesting machinery back in the hort. What sort of things can you fix? What do you need fixing? Chances are, whatever it is, I can sort it out for you. Chances are, I can fix it upside down while under fire in a combat zone. Meaning, it'll be a piece of cake to fix it here. What I wouldn't give for a real challenge. A mech, a raider, anything with real technical expertise involved. How much experience do you have with flyers? Flyers? You mean jetpacks? What model are we talking about? I had something bigger than jetpacks in mind. Bigger? Well, the only thing that's bigger these days is an Albrader. What? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Well, I don't know how you get your hands on one of them. Unless you're talking about the one that came down in your dam. 
If it is, you better be fast. I've heard people are looking for that sucker. Huh. Could you get hold of that albrader? Yeah, well, I might have an idea where it is. I have oh, ex right. exact I knowledge of where it is. Together when that thing went down. I mean, I had to see it. I told myself, this is my chance to see one of those things up close. So, I got by the berserker patrols in Adan, and went up to the old observatory and had a closer look at it. The thing was a bit of a wreck. It had hit the mountain further up and then came down the side of it. Do you think you can repair it? Not out there in the mountains, no. But... If the engine was still intact, then I suppose someone might be able to fly it here. Then I could really have a go at getting it working. Huh. Can you repair the engine? Well, I would need a high-capacity hydraulic conductor to get it back in order. And you don't just find something like that lying around. I suppose you could get one from another raider. But I've got no idea how you're going to do that. Or, well, yeah, you could bring down one of those fighting colossi from the 7300 series. They also have one of those high-capacity conductors installed in them. So, well, I suppose we should forget about it then. I mean, it's not impossible to get one, but it might as well be, huh? If I get you the conductor, can you repair the engine? <laughs> yeah, good joke. What? You're serious? What on fucking earth is a hydraulic conductor? The things they come up with. I can get the conductor from a fighting colossus from the 7300 series. You really think you can bring one of those down? Well, okay, listen. There might be one you could take down a little easier than the full strength ones. You see, I heard one went rogue due to a faulty control unit. It's still active somewhere in the southern mountains of Ignaton. But even though it's faulty, you'd have to be nuts to try and take it on. I'll give it a shot. That jackal over there, is that your pet? I have no idea where that thing came from. Just turned up here one day. Scared the living shit out of me, to be honest. But it doesn't seem so bad now. It hasn't tried to eat anyone or anything. So, you know, as long as it doesn't take a shit on my tools, it's fine to stay. All right, well, I'm glad you have some animal empathy. But damn, I did not think that we would uh, ever be trying to get that raider working again. I'd be shocked if they actually have some kind of, like gameplay mechanic that goes along with it. That would be, I think, just too much to ask for. Well, what's all down here? A lot of odd jobs to be performed there. But well, I think we've pretty much cleared most of it. It's interesting that, um, I kind of have this whole thing here. Origins defenses must hold. Agreed. Again, I can just kind of help myself to all this goodness around here. Well, I thought there would be a little bit more to do here, but I don't know. I don't understand why my companions never bothered to show up. That seemed to be kind of a big deal. Maybe it's something you kind of got to leave the area for a long time for. I don't know. Let's um, hop over here. See if they move. Nope, they're still chilling down there. They don't seem to be moving. I wonder if and when we can get... Uh, nasty to actually start following us. She seemed like she was prepared to make a move, but just isn't. Yeah, all right. Well, whatever. I guess that's gonna be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you all kindly for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to my stream archive channel, and uh, we might. Start making a move on Ignadon soon. Um, but otherwise, I do feel like we have to go back to Abessa in the Dome City. Because I left a lot of um, threads hanging there that I, I want to check out. But we also still have to deal with Kaja's mission and kind of get that rolling. Because I think we actually have a chance against that Nightcrawler or whatever. So, uh, well, 
next episode, we'll, uh, we'll have figured that out. Oh my god, what is happening? Holy shit. Alright, well, otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, have yourselves a wonderful night. We'll see you next time.